Hey guys, sorry about lighting. Remember the treadmill I put together? I don't think it lasted three months, but it worked for a while. It had a um, display problem. I think it's a display problem. I pulled out the DC motor, which is a 220, so I'm thinking that might come in handy for something. I'm going to pull out this other motor. I've got the controller board, but I've got other controller boards, about four of them, from uh, Nordic Tracks. So I'm thinking that that should work anyway. I'm thinking I'm just going to strip all that down, back to basics again, and use the steel for other jobs. Now I've stripped all that down now and it's all gone. I'm doing batteries over in the corner and I'll give you a quick hint of what I've been trying to work. Sorry about the noise, the actual bottom power supply that we did a video on to modify. It's a bit noisy with the fans and I've got to fix one of those tabs. This tab at the bottom here has come loose and even when I push it down it's not making contact. So I'm going to have to put a bit more solder in there. I did check that that was working. Now I'll put this together. It's meant to be the, I think it's the 3018 CNC but when I got it all these parts were plastic uh, made and they were all cracked or broken. Um, that one's not the only one that didn't get cracked or broken. But then I replaced them with these, which I'm gonna, and then I decided to stuff it. The bars are longer. I might as well put 400s on the side. And I think these, uh, I'm not sure what the length of these ones are, but I'm gonna build it a little bit bigger. That The gantry is the same size as the width. So I'm gonna build that a bit bigger. Um, I ordered all these parts here, they cost a little bit more. And I made these myself with blocks underneath to hold them up. So they'll, it's a bit noisy. The bearing's a bit noisy there. So I just need to do a little bit more work on it. This one's fine. That one's not, but it'll do the job. So there'll be a bit of wear, but um, yeah, it should work. So that's uh, my job. I'm gonna change one of these laptops into um, Linux CNC. So I might do a video on that because I'm not gonna use the read the proper build one. And I bought myself a larger motor to put on the gantry. So that's the start of that one. And this is the last, the other thing I did. Doing this, I've got to tap it. I've got to draw them down so that I can fit it onto one of these blocks. Put it underneath there and have it all set up straight and square. And I'll put another one of those on that side. I've snapped a couple. Be very careful with this. It's just not easy to do. But that piece is pretty cheap from China. I think it's about three or four dollars. And yeah, all good. Should work beautifully. It's nice and loose in there. I put a spring inside, small spring. Had a bit of spring sitting around, so I threw that inside to, for backlash. And I think this is going to work really well. What do you guys think? Anyway, we'll keep a lot of work to do. The thing I did was I pulled down two photocopiers. So I've got four NEMA 23 sitting there. I've got to play with these, so that'll be a, a video in itself. I've got a lot of NEMA, NEMA 17s, and I've got even smaller ones, 17s. But yeah, they're all good. I don't know whether you guys want to comment on any of this gear in here or any of it I should throw, uh, because it's a waste of time holding onto it. And that one there's got the gearbox on it. So I think I showed that in the last video. And there is this one down the back, which I've got no idea what it was, but I pulled it out. And keep a different gears off other things, or other, or correction, not gears, motors. There's some solenoids in here as well. I've got solenoids to the yin yang coming out. And a lot of driver boards, which I'm going to play with. And a couple of those boards there will probably be chewed out for the goal as well. And all the cables down the bottom, so nice and neat. Uh, my place is a bit of a mess. I still have a lot of work to do to clean it up. I am putting a lot of stuff in my bin as we speak. And I'm just hoping that I get someone to buy my old mic so I can actually get some good audio for the camera I bought. And now I'm going to order a um, SD card for the camera. So yeah, everything going along slowly. As, as everyone knows, it's pretty hard times. We're not getting the money we used to get or anything like that. And that's fine. Um, there's probably people out there that don't even feel it. So yeah, if you're one of those people that don't feel what's going on at the moment, good on you. You feel that good. But uh, I'm feeling it on the, on the, what is it, the canary in the, the mine. So yeah, I did try to get us all onto a mine, but the people didn't want me to go on there. Um, I didn't want anyone to see what they're doing. He's a friend of mine. So I respected them and I said, no, I won't go on. Um, I saw some of the gold that they got that was um, in the ounces um, per, per nugget. And I got shown a lot of it. Anyway, all right. Catch you on the next one. Keep watching. Hey guys, Chuck's back again. I'm just turn this around the right way. Okay, what do we got? I found this covered up like that, and I saw a couple of electronic parts sitting here, which were these two. And I thought I better pull those apart because I don't know what they're there for. Now, before I go any further, I'll tell you what I'm working on. I'm working on this large, it was a Xerox. A Xerox machine so one of the larger versions of Xerox I've already got three three NEMA 17s out of it and a NEMA 23 which is over there and all these circuit boards and they're all covered they've all got gold everywhere there's gold there there's gold in these there's golden fingers so I'm just ripping it down for that. I've kept a couple of bits. I've thrown a lot of it. I'll just show you what I've thrown so far. I've thrown all that. This all came out of that. And the bottom part, this was so heavy, it took three of us to get it on. I pulled it, 
pulled the thing off using some rope and a method I used before. I haven't even got into the power supply area. I know there's another motor sitting behind there. Um, it had a planetary gear, planetary gear body motor sitting in there as well. This one here. And this goes onto the back of it. So uh, that's quite interesting. And it had this beautiful fan just sitting there. And it's got all these fan ducts. It was very well made. Um, it was made in China, but most of the parts are all from, from, um, or all the parts are from overseas, from China. There is a lot of these buck boost converters. There's two on the, on that board over there. There's two buck boost converters to the left, and also a driver transistor for another NEMA, I would say. I pulled out a couple of these. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is a driver transistor. For the name and then you've got a cup of fet and that here um, and plus i think that that is a driver because you've got those two buck boosts sitting here all ready to be used um there's a crystal sitting over here uh, all the memory is pretty old and shot but you know you pull them out and you've got some gold fingers sitting on the bottom of them so you know you can use them for something so all good a lot of batteries in here as well for timer batteries this was a does this step does discuss how you can use it for your work server so that's a buck boost there's another NEMA 17 another NEMA 17 NEMA there's the other NEMA 23 there it had filtration systems all through it it has gold all through all the boards um, it has there's another board there so that was a separate board to the other board it was in there as well um, it has a lot of these I'm guessing these are some sort of driver for the Nemas so at most I think I've found there's about seven on that one and one on the other one so we'll see as I go if I find another one I'll turn on again and just show it to you I don't think you want to watch the whole bloody lot I think that'd be a waste of time a lot of um, belts in here a lot of gears most will end up at the recycle yard but I did notice a lot of this so I'll pull that out a lot of heat shrink sitting in there that hasn't been shrunk so that might come in handy and there was a there was two laser laser diode setups one with an optical head and one without one's a level three and one's a level two i think it was um got to be careful with those you don't want to be playing with them if you don't know what you're doing um the optical head had a filter on one side i used to do it as a job years ago playing with them things so I'll be very careful with them and lots of different type screws all the way through you know you've got all different ones ending up in into the box lots of fans lots of 12 and 24 volt fans now I don't know whether I can use 24 volt fans if you guys can use 24 volts fans and you're in central Victoria give me a yell because I'm sure I could drop them off to you um, I'll take that off in a minute so most of it I've gotten with uh, the screwdriver on my drill and some I had to use a torque head which was I think it was about 6mm don't quote me on it is it 6mm? Um, no it's 732 the 732 so yeah anyway that's it for the moment we'll keep working on it hey guys still working on this sorry about the music in the background but that's another motor in the back there i've got to pull out i've pulled out a couple of rails so far a ton of copper miles of it 
that's off our last thing we were doing and so far and I haven't even opened the top bit yet I have four motors two NEMA 23s and a NEMA 17 I'm not sure about the last one I think it's a NEMA 17 as well but I'm not 100% sure with that one there's hard drives um, if you look back here there's two driver driver boards and on the board over there there's another driver board driver which is that chip there so like you could rebuild these to do CNC with this stuff's as hard as rock I'll probably pull that apart I'm not sure this could be a handy little tool, working bench it's on wheels so that could be another option and you could just get rid of everything else to the scrap guy the uh, all the plastics ABS okay so another motor just came out of that spot there just pulled it out it's sitting in there it wasn't even hooked in I don't know if I had unhooked it beforehand and it's got a spring hanging off there so that was just sitting in the in to move that around so unbelievable this is nuts how many motors are in here and yeah try and get the model there's part of the model there I'd say this tray won't come out but these drawers I'm going to leave them in because they draw out and in and I can actually make take one of them out and make it into a single drawer and turn it into a some sort of cupboard maybe that might be another option instead of taking it to the recycle because it's just at the right height to use so I can spin it around and put it on um, put some tools on it maybe all right keep working on it there you go it's still working on this this is the top cover where you put your sheets of paper in and they roll underneath and you photocopy pieces of paper automatically this is the xerox there's one motor two motors i'd say that's a 23 this is a 17 name of 17 i'd say it's actually san sanyo but it'll be the same thing and another one here there's a small motor up there, another small motor down there, and a massive driver board here for five, five motors, all set up, and a beautiful stop switch, which could come in handy for another job. So we just have to unscrew it all. You'll end up with these two handles, these two um, hinges as well. I'm not going to bother doing all that down there. I don't think there's much down there that I really need so I'll leave that although there could be I did read there was a heat source so I might pull it apart there, there is a mirror there um, for scanning so yeah getting those things off don't try and cut them off there's a way of doing that I'll have to show it to you but yeah it'll come off quite easily mm. well made I've got to admit this whole board was fully operational so and so was the whole um, photocopy I've actually stripped that down now completely except for the wiring loom I've got to get that out I'm trying to get it out it's getting a bit hard to get the wiring loom out I have down there I have two four six eight nine motors Two of them are NEMA 23s, and the rest are, um, yeah, so all up there's, what, 12 motors of uh, NEMA quality, and the rest are all a different variety of um, DC motors. So we're going to have to work out some way of running these, and um, if anyone wants to leave comments, go ahead. Just hold my horses, I missed one, so there's 13 motors, unlucky for some, but lucky for me. There's another one down there so there's one two three and the one i took out which is i think i've taken over the others no there it is over there so yeah a lot of motors in these things there's one hiding under there i don't think i'll find any more but i will look hold on i'm lying there's 14 there's another one under there just under there see it just hiding behind this loom so that'll be coming out too. So in the top header, if you only want to pull apart one unit and only get one NEMA 23 out of it, the 
top unit has four 17s and one NEMA 23. This is the old black unit. So yeah, good luck. If you're making CNC machines, this is handy. Hey guys, finally got this thing apart. There's all these motors here out of that machine. So uh, there's three NEMA 23s. I think they're all three NEMA 23s. Um, one's not a NEMA, but I'm not sure what it, what the difference is. There's a heap of uh, 17s, different size 17s. Not 100% sure what that one is. Anyway, there's a couple more here. They're pretty much Seiko. There's heaps of driver boards everywhere. Another driver board over there. There's motors in here, up to the yin yang, running off the side of gears. There's gold all over the place, and I've got to clean up the ink that I made a mess of. Other than that, I got this left over. I pulled apart the bottom drawers. I'm going to put some drawers in the bottom again. And I'm thinking I'm going to cut this, make it square. And I'm thinking that could be used for a CNC machine using those motors. But I'm not 100% sure. If you've ever tried doing this, leave me a comment. Because I'm thinking that is what I'm going to do. I'll just show you all the rubbish that's all around. I've got to still finish that that display that's it uh, more rubbish over there but this is what I pulled out of it and some of those drawers might be going back in probably two of these will go back in there but that's two wheelbarrows full of plastics and metals metal everywhere this thing here is huge I don't know whether I should pull that out just for a spare hold on to it. Anyone knows or uses any of this stuff, um, please leave me a message. I've still got to pull that out, I think. There is a fan down the bottom. I might pull that fan out. And just because it's a 24 volt fan I could use. There is a massive power supply that comes with it. With this, that is the power supply there. It's just massive. It is a massive power supply to go with things like the fans and stuff. So that is in one case. Like you get rollers, there's bloody um, drawers that you could use. There's all kinds of stuff. There's even that metal plate there that I might use for the base of the machine. Uh, and I'll screw it. Anyway, that's it from me. Uh, that's the whole of the strip down of a Xerox um two what was it 2007 xerox um machine which has so many nema motors you just you need to get older one if you can find one anyway 